بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, إذا أصبح أحدكم يوما صائما فلا يرفض ولا يجهل فإن أمر شاتمه أو قاتله فليقول إني صائم إني صائم. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, if one of you reaches the morning and he is fasting, then he should not uh, have ill speech, foul speech, and he should not be transgress the bounds with anyone. And if someone attacks him or fights him, then he should say, I'm fasting, I'm fasting. The Sheikh mentions here, فَيَجِبُ عَلَى صَائِمْ خَاصَ الْحَذَرْ مِنَ الْمَعَاسِ وَإِجْتِنَابِهَا So he says that it is an obligation upon the person fasting, especially that they should avoid sinfulness and they should be far away from it. فَهِيَ تَجْرَحْ الصَّوْمْ For it hurts and harms a person's fasting. وَتُنْقِصُ الْأَجْرَ And it reduces your ajr, your reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَذَلِكَ مِثْلَ غِيبَ And for example, things like ghiba, namima, uh, backbiting people, slandering people. وَالْكَذِبْ And lying. وَالْغَشْ And cheating. وَالْسُخْرِيَ And making fun of people. مِنَ الْآخَرِينَ وَالْسِمَاعَ الْأَغَانِ And listening to music. وَالْمَعَازِفْ And, you know, musical instruments. وَالنَّذَرْ إِلَى muharramat And viewing or looking at those things which are prohibited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَغَيْرَ ذَلَكَ مِنْ عُنْوَالْ مَعَاسِ وَالْمُنْكَرَاتِ And other than that from all the various forms of ma'asi and dhanub. And that can be very difficult on us when we live in places where ma'asi and dhanub is aglab, that it's, it's, it's over us. Wherever you go, you want to go to the grocery store, you find ma'asi and dhanub. You find shantily clad women, meaning that they're, they're dressed uh, with, with very little clothes on. You see, even when you see some of your Muslim sisters, possibly, perhaps, they might not even be wearing proper hijab. And you find all kind of the music. You find people doing drugs and selling drugs outwardly and all kind of munkarat. So what is it upon the believer? What should the believer do in that state? The believer should strive their best, especially when fasting, to avoid those places where there's excessive sin and where there's excessive and open sin. To stay in the most beloved places to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like the masajid. Avoid the suq if, uh, if at all possible. And if, if it becomes necessary to go to the suq which is the most hated place to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then say the dua of the suq before entering the suq. Praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say the dua that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ordered us to say when going to the suq in order to get our sins forgiven from all the things that you witness there. Because the dua of the suq, recite the dua of the suq. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la. You hear what you meet. Naam. So recite the dua of the suq which grants you forgiveness for your sins that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ordered us to and it puts good deeds on your scale. And this is a ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a mercy from Allah because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that we have sins and that all of us commit sins and that we sin during the day and we sin during the night. The Prophet sallallahu said, Kullu ibn Adam khatta wa khayran khattayina tawabun that all the children of Adam make mistakes they, or they commit sins. And the best of those who sin are those who repent. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of the tawabin wa mutatahirin wa sabirin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.